Which exercise is actually better for the hypertrophy of your goddamn biceps? Is it the dumbbell preacher curls or is it the dumbbell incline curls? Analyzing the biomechanics of the exercise, the preacher curls actually loads the length and position of the bicep brachii. Just look at the line of force of the dumbbell and the axis of rotation that is the elbow joint. You can see that there is a long moment arm between the axis of rotation and the line of force, hence proving that pressure curls actually loads the bicep brachii in the lengthened position. But on the other hand, there is inclined dumbbell curls. In the most lengthened position of the bicep brachii, the moment arm is absolutely zero, hence there is no torque in the most lengthened position of the bicep. Thus while performing a dumbbell incline curl, there is no tension in the most lengthened position of the biceps. Because the moment arm which is the distance, the perpendicular freaking distance from the axis of rotation to the line of force is zero and hence the torque is zero. Fucking physics baby. But there is a caveat while performing the incline dumbbell curls. You can notice that my arm is behind my body which means that there is shoulder extension as well as the elbow extension which means that the bicep brachii is lengthened at the shoulder joint as well as the elbow joint which means that the bicep is in the most lengthened position while performing the inclined dumbbell curls. But even if the muscle is in the most lengthened position since the moment arm distance is zero in the most lengthened position, the torque is zero. Hence, inclined dumbbell curls does not load the muscle, that is the biceps, in the most lengthened position. This study published in 2023 underscores the importance of varying muscle length during training to achieve regional hypertrophy in different areas of a muscle. Exercise at long muscle lengths appears especially beneficial for distal muscle growth, while short muscle length exercises target the proximal and the mid muscle belly areas. So to visualize this concept, this is the proximal region and this is the distal region and this is the mid belly area of the muscle. But the actual limitation to this study is that there is just only one freaking study which actually proves this. Hence we need more studies and more extensive research on these topics. So it's wise for a regular gym bro to not be picky about exercises. So when it comes for a preacher curls and incline curls for which being better for the hypertrophy of biceps, I would suggest do both. So you can perform a dumbbell preacher curl along with a seated bicep curl during your first pull workout of the week. Perform inclined dumbbell curls as well as the concentration curls during the second pull workout of the week. No exercise is bad for muscle growth. Train with proper technique and stop ego lifting on any exercise. Hope this message sinks in and until then, peace out. Look, one basic trick is to like and share. Don't forget 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 to like and share.